Hair is a deeply profound experience. It's a part of our identity. It's a part of who we are. It's a part of who we put in the world. And cancer is already such a sinister and awful illness that if you can keep your hair through it, that's like one way to beat it. It's like, no, you're, you're gonna take all these things from me, right? Like I, I had a double mastectomy, so I've lost my breasts. Things have changed, like I've lost that youthful sense of invincibility, but I kept my hair. I wasn't gonna let it take my hair. Chemotherapy damages hair follicles at the root of the hair, resulting in hair loss approximately two weeks after the start of chemotherapy. The damage that chemotherapy causes to the hair follicle can be alleviated by using scalp cooling. It works by reducing the temperature of the scalp by a few degrees immediately before, during, and after the administration of chemotherapy. This in turn reduces the blood flow to hair follicles, which may prevent or minimize hair loss. Cooling causes blood vessel vasoconstriction, which has been shown to reduce blood flow in the scalp to 20 to 40% of the normal rate, resulting in less chemotherapeutic drug being delivered to the hair follicles. So cancer isn't a cheap illness, and on top of facing the expenses associated with treatment and with everything else, Hair to Stay made it financially possible um, to use the cold caps and keep my hair. So without Hair to Stay, I don't think I'd have my hair today. Without the subsidy, I think maybe I would still do the cold caps, but I would have gone broke trying to save my hair. It was that important and it was that critical to my survival. So I'm really glad that Hair to Stay was there to alleviate some of the financial burden associated with cancer treatment. Cancer has touched uh, me personally and professionally. Uh, my mom passed away from cancer when I was 16 years old, so I saw the devastating and felt it as a, as a child and lose a parent at such an early age to cancer. And I know professionally my whole life, 40 years of hairdressing, how my guests are affected and come to me and get apprehensive about losing their hair. And that's why I believe in Hair to Stay. It's the simple message that it creates is helping people keep their dignity while they go through a very devastating disease. And, um, you know, we did fundraising through just email blasts to my guests, uh, signage around the salon, mirror talkers, um, letting people know that we are raising money for this great cause. For every $1,000 we raise, we help an individual with their treatment. And that is such an easy, clear message to deliver. It's very easy to get people to want to give to a cause like that. So I invite you to go to hairtostay.org and learn how you and your salons and your teams can help women across the country keep their dignity and their hair through cold capping. <laughs>